Welcome to my blog. This video is about how to make a potent postpartum drink from Undo State. This right here is alligator pepper. I'd also be using some negro pepper, some dried red pepper, we call it atari, black pepper, a whole cloves, and I don't all precase. For the precase, I don't need a lot, so I'll be cutting out the little portion that I need. I like to say, as I always say in my video, let me know what you think about this drink because this blog is all about sharing and learning from one another. So leave your comment. Next is I'll remove the seed inside the alligator pepper by breaking open this pod and this pod rather and taking out the seed. This process is time consuming, but it is worth it. So as I was saying earlier. Apart from letting me know what you think about my videos, if you like the videos, of course, you can share the video to educate and enlighten other people who may not know. And come on, follow me, like my videos. <laughs> Thank you. This is just a tell you that I appreciate it when you like my video you leave your comment you share my videos and of course whenever you subscribe to my channels thank you so now i'm done with the seeds and i'll be blending it using a dry milk it is important to blend all the spices with a dry meal never a wet meal it has to be dry and i'm just cutting them up to make it easy for my dry meal the great thing about this drink is it helps to push out any blood cloth that may be in your tummy immediately after you give birth so that you won't have blood clots that solidifies eventually in your stomach because they didn't come out. This is just one of the many um, things that are done for postpartum care in Ikali land. This is the drink. We also do um, the body massage in the mornings and in the night with hot water. This is usually done by the grandmoms, could be from the woman's side or from the man's side. And also belly binding with cloth. Nowadays they use corsets or tummy shapers. So I'm blending all the ingredients together to achieve a powder form. Don't mind me, I'm old school. <laughs> so I'll be pouring the um, blended ingredients into this paper. It's a clean paper. I'm pouring everything here so that I can easily transfer it into the container that I'll be using for this video. Sometimes these things just get stuck in the dry meal, so I need to scrub it and just scratch it and get everything out. So I'll be pouring this blended spices into this plastic bottle. It's been properly washed, sterilized and dried. After pouring it in, here is my aromatic shina. Yoruba people call it otiawabra. Let me bring it close so you can see it. I'll be pouring this shinap into this bottle. <laughs> For people who have done this before, I know that this entire process is not new to you. It's quite familiar to you. And our mommies, our grandmas in the house, this process is quite familiar to you. So I'm done pouring the aromatic shinap. I'll cover the bottle properly. I'll shake it very, very well. After shaking it, I'll let it be for 8 to 12 hours. Oh. After 8 to 12 hours, you see this small cup? All you need to do is take a shot of this at least 3 times in a day. This drink is quite hot. Though. Don't shake this drink if you want to uh, take the shot so that all the ingredients that have said to do not come up and then be making your throat feel somehow. Just Pour it into the cup and take a shot. 